Hey guys! Today we'll see a short unboxing review of the Celestron Power Seeker 50AZ telescope. When you open the box, you see the telescope is packed like this. There is a refractor optical tube assembly, a small box that has eyepieces, screws, and some accessories, and below these two items there is a mount, which we will see later. Inside this small box, you get one three times Barlow lens. This lens is made up of plastic and it's very lightweight. This is a holder to fit the finder scope on your telescope tube. You also get a 1.5 times erecting eyepiece. This is the finder scope, which you'll fit into the finder scope holder. Then we have a star diagonal for eyepiece. You can attach this at the end of the telescope and place an eyepiece and you're ready to go. You get three eyepieces with this telescope. This one is a 4 mm eyepiece. This one is a 2.5 mm eyepiece. And the last one is a 20 mm eyepiece. Some screws and knobs to fit the telescope. Another item you have here is the eyepiece stand that you attach to the tripod. Now let's assemble this telescope. Let's first open the tripod and then fix the eyepiece tray stand. Attach the optical tube with the tripod with one of the screws provided. Then we'll fix the finder scope holder and fit the finder scope. Then you fix the eyepiece holder to put in the eyepieces. And you're done. Your telescope is assembled. The total weight of this telescope is around 8 kilograms. How is the observation through the telescope? With such a beginner telescope, you can only see the moon. Planets will look like small dots through this telescope. We tried to observe the moon with this telescope, but apparently the mount of this telescope was not able to fix the telescope at one single point. It was kind of damaged and the telescope was not able to focus on the moon for a long time. Still, we tried to capture some images of the moon through this telescope. So overall, this is a very beginner telescope and one of the cheapest ones. Should you buy this telescope? If you're serious about astronomy, then avoid buying this telescope. You can go with some intermediate level telescopes like Celestron 130 SLT. This telescope is only good for bird watching and looking at the moon and is mostly suitable for kids. Other objects like planets will look mostly like a dot through this telescope. As most beginner telescopes will show you the moon and some planets, it's very easy to outrun these telescopes. So there is a possibility that if you get a very beginner telescope, that instead of exciting you about astronomy, it might discourage you from pursuing it further. So it's always better to go for an aperture of 80 to 90 millimeters for your first telescope. If you can stretch your budget, then go for a good mid-range, slightly expensive telescope.